A group of occupiers in New York City have found a new place to camp in protest. The sidewalk outside 15 Central Park West, home of Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein. The occupation began shortly after the October 13th Global Noise Action, during which the casserole-style debt protest gave the site a noisy visit. And then people just started thinking, like, why don't we camp out there? Um, you know, kind of make it a little more personal. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, the first night we were like right directly across the street um, from Lloyd Blankfein's house. Um, and then we decided to move into, there's like a little alcove um, that's also right across the street, but it's technically Central Park land. Um, and we were there for a few nights, um, and then they finally came in and they actually made us leave that area. Um, and then we ended up moving our stuff to here because there's more foot traffic here. Like it's crazy how many people walk by right here, um, which was a really good move. I mean, technically we're not as close as we could you know, possibly be, um, but his house is right there. He's up on the 11th floor. I mean, it, it, he has one of these windows. He can see us here. 20, 20, 30 people is usually about what we've got now um, at any given point. Well, I mean, there, there's obviously, you know, two two sides to it. There's the people that walk by and just yell, get a job or whatever, and come here to harass us, which doesn't happen often. Um, but we are seeing more of the support um, coming in. <laughs> so far, we need to be used by us. Yeah, all right, all right, cool. What is your goal in this uh, with Occupy Basically, what we would like to see happen is the Department of Justice actually carry through an investigation for their fraudulent financial activities. Um, people will walk by and they see our, we have a huge Occupy Goldman Sachs sign. Um, you know, I mean, there's always quite a few people here. We've, we've got uh, information to hand out. Um, so a lot of people, they're just, they walk by and they're like, what, what is this? Um, I mean, and I'm sure a lot of the people that do stop by, you know, at least have heard of Goldman Sachs and kind of know what they're about. Um, but hopefully those people will at least start paying more attention. Um, you know, and maybe before they were thinking like, ah, oh, whatever, you know. Um, but now that they see people who are camping out here, you know, and sleeping out in the cold and, you know, are here day in and day out, they might like think about looking into it a little bit more. We've gotten a lot of people stopping by um, with like clothing and food. And support has been growing a lot uh, since like the first couple nights. And it's just kind of, we're taking it day by day. You know, there's no plan like, oh, we're here for this long. I mean, you know, it's, well, I mean, there's a, there's a hurricane coming. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, there is some scaffolding right on the other side of, of 15 CPW. Uh, where Lloyd Blankfein lives, um, that's directly across the street, which we have gone there a couple different nights when it's been raining. Um, so, if anything, we hunker down <laughs> underneath some scaffolding. As far as like online goes, um, the main uh, Occupy Wall Street Twitter account and the main Occupy Wall Street Facebook page um, have picked up on this um, and have been telling people to come down here and. Um, show support and they've been like sharing our pictures and stuff. I mean, I, ideally I would like to see a few more people maybe be here in person. It would be great. We're at 61st and Broadway. Come out and chat with us for a bit. Sleep over one night or something. <laughs> Occupy Goldman Sachs is planning a protest on November 10th, staging it as an angry village mob. Participants are invited to bring fake pitchforks and torches.